What's up, YouTubers? Today I'm going to be doing a review and installing a uh, Rocket Fish Tilting Low Pro TV mount for your HD flat screens, whatever. We've had our TV for years and years now, but um, it's just been on a t on, like, table mount type thing. So I'm going to put one on the wall and uh, we'll review this Rocket Fish. It's for a 3256. I'll be mounting a 50 inch plasma Samsung. So. Check it out. We'll see how it goes. Alright, um, these are the tools that they recommend uh, you using. They have some plastic anchors in here uh, that come with the kit. I went and got these metal guys. I don't really know about mounting. I'm going to be mounting into concrete, so uh, I don't want to use plastic anchors in concrete. That just doesn't seem good. Um, so we got the drill, level, blah, 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 masonry bit. Um, you got to have your beer and of course a koozie, I like to have a koozie for my beers uh, and I'm using the one that they gave me from the gym so that, that seems pretty ironic but uh, alright let's do this alright so here is the TV we'll be mounting and we're going to mount on this wall right here let's check out the instructions these are the brackets that are going to go on the back of the TV and they're labeled L and R for something and right left and right whatever uh, so down right here, the back of my TV is not exactly flush. It's got these little these holes are indented, in and uh, all the way down here there's indentions. So we got to use these little spacers right here. It's a little uh, black spacer, and it got you have a new bolt that'll go through here. It's just a Phillips head. So, and it's got washers too, so we'll go ahead and get those mounted up real quick. Now, there's different mounting holes in these brackets. Now, there's different mounting holes in these brackets. Um, all these guys up here, and then it's just kind of long holes down here that are more adjustable so I'm gonna go ahead and just use this second hole right here and if that doesn't seem to work I can always adjust it later if I need to go a little higher or lower um, we'll start there though alright I've gone ahead and just kind of put this the wall mount bracket on the two brackets that we attached earlier on the back of the TV, centered it up a little bit uh, best I can on the back of the TV. And um, I know we'll have a little bit of side to side movement adjustment uh, with our lag bolts or with our concrete bolts, anchor bolts. Um, but now I'm going to kind of measure the top to the top of the TV from the mount, uh, mounting holes to the bottom, and then measure my fireplace, the wall above the fireplace and Hopefully my TV is not too big to even fit there, but you should check that out before you even bought this thing. So let's go ahead and try to do that. I've got 11 inches from the top of my mount to the top of the TV, 12 inches from the bottom of the mount down to the bottom of the TV, and we'll go up to the wall and go ahead and kind of mock that up. Okay, so my mount is 7 inches tall. The 11 inches above uh, where the TV is going to go, plus the 12 inches where the TV goes below, um, hangs down below. That gives me a total of 30 inches. So we'll go ahead and try to measure out our top to bottom um, on the fireplace and center up the 30 inches the best I can. Now, now if you're going to have speakers, uh, if you want to have like a row of, of speakers in, uh, in front of your TV, make sure you leave enough room for that when you're doing these calculations. Okay, now with the uh, bottom of my mount at my mark here, kind of centered up. Um, side to side as well. I've got the level on top. I'm going to go ahead and keep my mark on the bottom um, right at that point so I don't go any taller or any lower than that and just adjust it uh, the tilt left and right until I get it exactly level and then I'll go ahead and mark where I want my holes to be drilled. Alright we're ready to get started drilling. Um, first things first always wear eye and ear protection and a hard hat, uh, wherever, or some gloves maybe, um, whatever you feel necessary, steel-toed boots. 
And uh, always remember to take your beer and move it away from where you're drilling because you don't want any of that concrete dust getting in your beer. It just makes it taste chalky. See what uh, fish rocket rocket fish gives you is a plastic anchor. That you could probably crush with your teeth, and just a regular wood screw lag bolt to go in there. Black, and then uh, what I got from a local hardware store is an actual concrete masonry anchor. And you just stick in there and then crank down on it. It expands this in and it won't pull out. We'll try it out, see what happens, bro. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. Let's go ahead and do the TV. Shit. I think it's up there. I know. All right, so as you see, we've got the TV hooked up. Uh, we've got to get some kind of oak shell type thing we're going to put in here. But uh, got the TV hooked up with the Wii and DVD player, that kind of stuff. I still got to hide my cords. I've got to look good at finding something uh, to hide those things. But at least it's up, it's clean, looks nice. So that, uh, that shows you how it's done. Hopefully you have the same luck I do uh, when you're putting yours in. And again, peace out. Two out of two beers. $99. Tilts. Works fine. Um, instructions were okay. Uh, they, they were to the point you still got to have some kind of knowledge on uh, installing this type of stuff. Uh, so make sure you have somebody who's familiar with hand tools and tape measure uh, to get it all lined up and centered. So other than that, Good luck when you're with your installation. I'd recommend it to a friend. Make sure and rate, comment, subscribe, and uh, I'll catch you guys on the flip side with whatever my next project is. Peace out.